Hey folks, what a great question and your timing is perfect because in the last month and a half we've been on the Sky Princess and we've been on the Scarlet Lady. So I can give you a pretty good comparison of the food quality. Now first of all, a little bit of apples and oranges. You know, on Princess you get the main dining room, you get the buffet, you get Alfredo Pizzeria, but then you have to pay for the restaurant. Over on Virgin Voyages you get everything. I mean literally all of the meals are included as part of your cruise fare. But let's do a comparison. Let's just say all things being equal food comparison between Sky Princess and the Scarlet Lady. And we'll start up with the buffet and then the galley food hall. I would actually have to kind of give the edge to Princess. The Sky Princess buffet was absolutely amazing both with the variety that I had and the quality of the food on the buffet. I mean there's just really really good buffet the galley is a little bit more limiting you know each station has maybe a couple of things on it and uh, it is made to order which is really nice most of the food is made to order but in terms of variety and overall enjoyment kind of got to give the edge to the sky princess now for italian food princess cruises has the classic sabatini's italian trattoria virgin voyages counters with extra virgin you would think i'm going to go with princess because they have the italian heritage but on this last sailing Sabatini's was definitely a letdown. Extra Virgin was better. I mean, Extra Virgin is not my favorite Italian restaurant generally on a cruise ship. Usually it's the Sabatini's, um, but based on our most previous sailings, I'd have to say we had a better experience on Extra Virgin over on Virgin Voyages. And since we're on Italian, we've got Alfredo's Pizzeria over on Sky Princess, and we've got the pizza place on Virgin Voyages. Complete toss up. All right. Excellent crust. Excellent sauce, excellent topping, both cruise lines, you're going to love it. And then the steakhouse is really the last head-to-head -head comparison I can make. On the Sky Princess, we've got the Crown Grill, and on the Scarlet Lady, we've got The Wake, which is generally considered like their premier restaurant on the ship. But I have to say, Crown Grill just blew us away on the Sky Princess. It was superior in every way to The Wake. Uh, the service, the quality of the food, uh, interestingly enough, the Wake, which is their steakhouse, can't really get a good steak there. You'll see a lot of people will complain unless you go ahead and pay for that $65 tomahawk steak, which one of our friends did on the previous Scarlet Lady sailing. And I will say that was an outstanding steak. Oh my God, just so amazing. But based on this most recent cruise, I mean, between the service, the selection available, and then the quality of the dinner itself, Crown Grill on Sky Princess, clear winner. Oh, and I guess one more comparison would be uh, the Italian Gelato over on the Sky Princess and Lick Me Till I Scream on the Scarlet Lady. Honestly, another toss-up. The Gelato is fresh made. It's amazing on the uh, Sky Princess. Lick Me Till I Scream. I think that ice cream is fresh made on the ship. If it isn't, it sure tastes like it is. Big difference is you pay for the Gelato. Lick Me Till I Scream is included. So that's a toss-up for me. Now, the one thing you find on Sky Princess, not on the Scarlet Lady, would be the main dining room, that traditional main dining room where everybody comes to eat and you get a different menu every single night. I will say the Sky Princess main dining room is one of the best main dining rooms we've been in in a very long time. The service was outstanding, very personable. Uh, Princess always has great service. The food was hot. It was delicious. So for a main dining room, it was an outstanding experience. And it's one of those things you can't really compare on the Scarlet Lady. Then beyond those direct comparisons, you know, over in Sky Princess, you've still got a seafood restaurant. It was Bistro Sur La Mer, it's changing name to something else, still gonna be seafood center. And we also had a sushi bar as well. Over on the Scarlet Lady, we still got a pink agave, which is elevated Mexican. Excellent. Razzle Dazzle, which is known as the vegan vegetarian restaurant, but it has quite the eclectic mix. The butter chicken I had, oh my God, one of the best things I've had on a cruise ship in a long time. The Test Kitchen, which is a really fun gastronomic experience. You never really know what you're going to get there. And then of course you've got Gumbe, which is a Korean barbecue. That's a lot of fun. And we've got the dock on the back of Deck 7. That's one of my favorite places on the whole ship. It's really good tapas. We've got the Social Club Diner. Hot dogs, sausages, candy, snacks, taffy, all kinds of fun stuff there. Up on the top, we've got the Sun Club Cafe, I think it's called. That's got poke bowls up there. And I think I've got it all. I think that's all the food that's over on the Scarlet Lady. And I should also note, soft drinks are included. So all of your Coca-Cola products are included on the Scarlet Lady as well. So overall, who has the best food quality? I mean, the Sky Princess or the Scarlet Lady? Well, if you're just talking food quality overall, I think they're very similar. They're very close. But of course, on the Sky Princess, you do have to pay a premium to go to Sabatini's, to the steakhouse, uh, to the seafood restaurant, and to the sushi. Over on the Scarlet Lady, you've already paid up front when you book the cruise, so you have a lot more variety, and you can try things. You know, 
when you're paying for a dinner over on the Sky Princess, you may or may not want to go to the steakhouse or the seafood because I'm not really sure if I'm going to like it. Whereas over on the Scarlet Lady, since you've already paid for it, you can experiment more. You can try things that maybe you wouldn't have tried before because, hey, it's already included in the cruise fare. So why don't we try it? So honestly, from a purely food perspective, I think you're going to have a great time on both cruise lines. Thank you so much for that question. Hey, thank you for watching. Look, if there's anything we can ever do to help you with your travels, cruises, land tours, theme parks, anything at all, please do reach out at Where'sWalterTravel.com. Thank you and have an amazing day.